Actually, I was I was kind of surprised attacked by the writers who have known for many years Joe and Joe, and uh, I found a note on my door one day to call Joe Mangelli up, and and, and he says I got to talk to you, and, and they asked me to uh, star in this movie, and I said, well, I have almost no acting experience. I think I did two lines in one movie, and and, and that's about it, because most of my most of my work's been behind the camera. And they said, well, we want you to try. We think you'll do a great job at it. So, you know, they had to beat me up a couple of times, but basically I said, okay, and and uh, and I just dove right into it. That's, that's that's exactly how it happened. Totally, totally out of the blue. Doing Uncle Louie for me, I guess, was, was, was easy because I'm kind of like Uncle Louie. I mean, obviously I like to eat and... and, and you know, I'm from back east originally, so I've got that, that the, those, uh, the way I move and talk. And so, kind of like I think Joe Izzo had told me, he said, just, just be yourself. I mean, you don't have to really change much at all. And, uh, you know, uh, pretty much that's it. I mean, I just, you know, memorized my lines and went out there and just kind of input my own personality a little bit into it. And, uh, and it, it worked out better than I thought, quite frankly, because I thought that I'm going to forget lines. I'm going to be too stiff for... I'm going to go over the top, and, and I may have a couple of times, but 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 uh, overall it was it was pretty easy for me because I was pretty much just playing a lot of myself. The only thing is I'm actually still alive and not dead like a <laughs> Louie, you know. And it was it was much more enjoyable of an experience than I thought it would be to the point where I'm like, well, I spent a lot of years working as a DP or behind the scenes and producing that maybe I'll just I go into acting. I'm a little old for it, maybe, but 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 it was to me it was easy. It was it was really not working, and, 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 I, and I would do it again if I had the opportunity for sure. Now, originally, I was from the East Coast. I lived in uh, New Jersey. I lived in Connecticut. I lived in New York, Massachusetts. I went to the college in uh, in New York and Massachusetts, and my family's from there. And uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of it I kind of miss. The food is the biggest thing. I always complain to my friends out here. I don't think the food's out here as good as back east. Of course, I've been out here like like 29 years now, but still, still complain about it. Uh, uh, there's certain personalities that I miss. And I heard Joe Mangelli talk about the people in the neighborhood that were kind of related to the mob and people taking numbers. And I was kind of like in a similar situation. Half my uncles were taking numbers, and I didn't even know what they did, but they always had money in their pocket. And it, it was kind of like everybody was almost like an Uncle Louie, you know, and, and the women would cook all the time and we'd eat. Eating was a huge part of our life. I mean, the Sunday dinners, the, 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 uh, the, the cookouts, they call them back there, barbecues, and, and, and we always had a lot of family around and a lot of, a lot of food. Too much food, but it was good. And uh, uh, so things like that I do miss, you know, uh, but uh, I don't miss the snow. In the scene in Uncle Louie where I'm in the garage with uh, um, Michael, um, Joe is what had come to me before we did that scene and said, you know what's interesting, he saw The Godfather and he loved that lighting and he said, if, can we kind of duplicate? Because there's a scene there that's kind of tense and we've got the guns drawn and, and uh, you know, this is where Uncle Louie tries to convince uh, him to lay off his uh, nephew. So I said, well, let, let's copy The Godfather, and my credits to Gordon Willis, the, uh, the uh, director of photography for The Godfather, who's one of my favorite director of photography, He's along with Robert Richardson, who works a lot with Martin Scorsese, because I think their lighting is really uh, unique, and really being a director of photography is a lot about, you basically you're painting with light. So that scene is, is a dark scene with hot overhead lights, I didn't have the, the camera filters I needed, so what I did was I, I put gels over the lights to create almost that brownish tone that it kind of has. And it, and I watched The Godfather not long after that, and it comes it comes pretty close, not exact, because of course we're using a different filming format, uh, uh, but it has that same effect to it. And I think it I was surprised myself that it came out as well as it did, and I think it added to lighting. And photography can add to the scene. It, it, it's not just the actors and the story, but the lighting creates a mood or an effect that gets the audience into it. I think that's one scene. Where, where he had, the key about filmmaking is you got to look at it's an art and a business both. It really is. You, you've got the art involved in the making it, and you got the business 
involved of producing or selling it and, and getting it out to the public. And uh, uh, that takes a lot of effort. And sometimes you hit it and sometimes you don't. That's the nature of the business. But it's not going to stop me uh, from doing it because I enjoy it.